Hey y'all, what's going on today? Um, I got some new projects that I've built and I also have some new trucks that I bought. Um, for some reason, the last six trucks that I built have all been white. It's not been planned. It's just the way it's worked out. So, um, keeping with my dually theme, let's start with it. This seems to be a pretty big hit on Instagram. People have really liked this truck. Uh, it's another 2018. Um, this truck actually started out. Let me see. I have the other one over here. It's a little dirty. This is what this truck originally started out as. The Indy 500 truck. It's got the Chevrolet on the windshield. So what I have done. First I put the push bar on there. Added a winch. And then turned around, I added a back window headache rack and some side mount toolboxes on both sides. Also put dual, uh, diesel exhaust tip on there. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm real happy with this truck. And I think this ought to do pretty well. So, get some light back here in the background. So that's what I did with it. What do y'all think? I think it looks pretty sweet. Get my finger out of here so I'm not blocking so much of it. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. That push bar came off of a LAPD police truck. And then I painted it with some chrome testers paint. And I also painted the winch chrome. Um, that winch came from, I think, uh, Portland Car Lover. I found him off of Instagram. So then I've been pushing it around what I'm going to do with one of those C60s for a long time and I finally came up with this so what do y'all think of my dump truck working dump truck still works I wouldn't have built it if I couldn't get it to work um, it's on a C60 chassis um, and it's also adapted to the 2018 I believe Dodge 3500 this is the truck that I used to build it with um, I bought this just the other day at my local hobby store and like I said we built this with it put the sideboards on there um, kept the toolboxes um, other than that it looks really good I mean it looks like it was designed for it so then I built that truck and I was really happy with it. It even has a working tailgate. Um, I was real happy with it. Seemed to get a lot of likes on there. These are mirrors that are on here. They're a little tweaked. I need to fix them. Um, these are from also from a guy called Portland Car Lover. I found him on Instagram. Um, so I built Mini Me. I'm going to put sideboards on this one too. I'm going to put smaller sideboards on it. But... This is my Chevy version. So you can see if I open the back window, see it says Duralast. This was an M2 AutoZone truck. said Duralast on the side. It's got opening hood and got the engine detail in there. I put the green light mirrors on there. Um, same thing. I used the same Dodge truck chassis. And I cut it down to fit this Chevy truck. I think it turned out pretty doggone good. Again, this one dumps too. Um, other than that, that's it. Worked out pretty good. Uh, took a little while to build it, but, you know, good projects take time, right? So I call those Big and Little Enos. Anybody who knows the Smokey and the Bandit ought to know that pretty well. Okay, so... Um, this is the Chevy truck that I built. I've been working on this for a while. Um, I just got some tires in from 802 Customs. And those things are going to look really good on there once I get them painted up. So y'all ought to check those out. We just got some really good stuff over there. I also bought my first Jeep Wagoneer that I found. Um, I normally call these a, a Cherokee, but... It's called a Wagoneer. Um, it's Johnny Lightning. It's got the opening hood. So I'm going to get the focus. Here we go. Opening hood. 
Um, looks like kind of a root beer color, metallic. I uh, really like this truck. It's pretty nice. Let's see. I think the, the gate opens almost all the way down. You got to give them credit for that. They tried. It goes almost all the way down. So, but other than that, really nice detail on this truck. Um, we're going to flip those white letter tires around at least. I'd like to find some better wheels and tires for it first. Really good detail on this truck. Real nice. Um, it also came with a tiny house on a trailer. One of the ugliest things I think I've ever seen. My original plan was, uh, you see it's on a flatbed trailer. I was just going to take it off. But uh, I tried to loosen both the screws in the front and the back, and they must be glued on. So um, I tried to do a little bit of prying between the trailer and the tiny house, and it's also glued on also. So I don't know why they did screws and glue. But trying to take this off of here, I'm going to destroy either the tiny house or the trailer or both. So I'm probably going to leave it on there. We'll put it on eBay and see if somebody else wants it for their collection because I honestly have no use for it. The only reason I bought it was because it came with that Jeep Wagoneer. So, I also got a new 1984 um, Auto World 84 Chevy. Um, they've had this truck out for a while. Um, the opening hood detail. Um, I just kept passing on it, and today I finally pulled the trigger on it, and I bought it. It's a nice color blue. I like that color. I don't know if we'll do anything with it, but I have one now. And then finally, I also bought the Olds Vista Cruiser. Um, I really like the wheels and tires on it. I like the paint job on it. I think it's a really cool wagon. So I went ahead and I bought it. I found this, I believe, um, at Hobby Lobby. Tailgate folds all the way down and open and clean. That's pretty good because uh, green light doesn't do that a lot. I think it's green light. Yeah, green light. I was thinking of taking these wheels and tires off and putting them on something else. I still might. I don't know because I do have the same car in uh, the Black Bandit. Um, also bought this high roller. Um, the main reason I bought it was mostly for the grill. Um, and also notice it's got this bug catcher on the front. So it's high roller too. That would be pretty slick. Um, pop that grill and that uh, bug shield off there and paint it up. Make it look nice. Put it on something different. That might look pretty good. Um, this truck's a piece of crap. Doesn't roll very good. So that was the only reason I mainly bought it was because of that. That and then uh, once I pop it apart, that engine will look good some, setting in something somewhere. Bumpers still look good. They just need to be repainted because they got mold, or not mold, mud all over them. Well, mud, brown paint, whatever you want to call it. So I also just picked up this one. I've already popped it apart. Um, I am going to use this dump truck instead of this one. Totally different dump bed. Get rid of the cab. As you can see, this is more of a steak bed. And it has swinging back doors. So, uh, since this, this one turned out so well, I'm going to put my blue C60 on this other dump truck. We'll see how that one turns out. Because I'm really happy the way this one turned out. This truck turned out real nice. So, tell me what y'all think. Y'all like this truck? something you guys would build or and or buy let me know anyway if you like the video don't forget to put a thumbs up comment like subscribe all that good happy rat jazz and we'll keep popping these videos up and i'll see you all next week y'all have a good day bye